show you. Yeah, this is. I was showing. This is my Japanese. I'm going to show you that these bees are are, are are harmless. Social bees are the smaller bees. Now, um, if there if there's anything, if they're big, right, like a bump, like a bee or a bumblebee, do not grab them, right. So I'm going to grab and try to grab and show the camera. Here's one here. I want to learn how to. Missed them. They're all over this tree. This tree is chock a block full of bees. This is what a tree should look like. If it's got blo blossoms, it should be just full of bees running around. So I'm just waiting here. Here's one. Come on, there you go. Missed them. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you what I've done. And I want to show you that. Here they are. Here's a whole bunch. And there are some really, really small ones. If you guys would stand still. If I can grab one, they move so fast. It's a little windy. I don't know how long I'm going to be here to try to grab a bee. I should actually... I got one. I got one. All right, here's one. I've got one in my hand. All right. So where's the camera? I'm gonna try to. Ah, oh, you got out. So these bees won't bite you. These are great educational bees. I actually bring my. Just so you know, this is I teach at a hoi Quinn. Hello, konnichiwa. Ipai hachi. Ne. Kora, ko, ko, nani, um, namai wa. Tell her that the, these hatchies don't bite. These are friendly. Hitori no hachi. Hitori. Uh, one, yeah. Hitori. So, um, you know, I've been looking around all these flowers and everything else, and then it turns out that these trees are just full. I don't know if you can see them all just buzzing around, and there's some really small ones. There's all sorts of different sizes of these bees. I've also seen giant hornets, right? And they are just going crazy. Now, what I did was um, I made a soon, I mean, I just found this tree on on uh, Thursday. On Thursday I found the tree and today is Saturday and I've put up my own our little hotel here. So hopefully the bees, I even put some wax around and make it smell like a little waxy, right? Um, and um, I put this on to keep the heat, right? Um, the heat's up there, it's you know coming through and uh, and this is a pet bottle. You can see here's the plastic. There's a vent on the top here, a little vent here. Um, I put a vent. So the idea is it rains, it's gonna, you got some cover, it's gonna slide down here, it's fixed on here firm. And um, what I wanna do is if this thing fills up with, if this all fills up with bees this summer, hopefully it will, then uh, ultimately I can move this to another tree. And I think this is, I don't know what kind of tree is this. Um, looks like marijuana, but it's not. But that's, it looks like the marijuana tree leaf, doesn't it? Right? So, uh, I don't know if you see them all, if you can see them all. But this little, but let me, you know, Mikey off the road. But if you look around, like, like, if you look everywhere else. Now, there's tree bees right there, and yet, there's nothing on these flowers, right? Those, tree, those bees have adapted to that tree. Um, now this tree, this, this is getting some activity. Here's a solitary bee on it. And here's a little guy here, a little bee. I don't know if you see him there, getting some heat. Right there. Little guy. There's a whole bunch of bees flying around here. Yeah, Mikey. There's all these little blue flowers on the ground. This little park is a haven, just a little haven, free from pesticides. And the reason why it's, it's free and it's happening 
you know, because of this one tree that over over generations, I don't know how long that tree's been there, but they've adapted to. And one little colony is just like up. Now most likely they're digging their holes. These holes here, look at this hole here. This is probably a bee. You see the hole here? Mm -hmm. It's probably a bee. Bee? Yeah, it could be a bee. Why? They dig their holes in the ground. They like holes. This Why is like the door? Uh, that's where they lay their eggs. And then the bees come up out of the ground. So probably like here. Here, I'm sure this is a bee bee hole right here. You see that hole? Mm -hmm. He's right now getting food. The queen goes in here and she's putting eggs in here. She's gonna barrel down. She's gonna fill it up with eggs. And the next spring, these eggs are gonna pop out and then they're gonna come out. And, you know. It's such a, just sitting here. It's a big. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably a hole there too. They probably go right around this tree. So I'm gonna take some pictures. So there are bees in Japan, very few. Um, you gotta find them, search for them. Um, I was looking down, looking down, looking down, looking at trees. Um, the cherry blossoms don't have them. I'm wondering if I move these two cherry blossoms. Like I'll, what I'm gonna to want to do is fill this up, and then ultimately uh, move it to our park. So I'm going to move once I fill this up um, and I'm actually going to look for this tree, look for more of these trees to see if, you know, if these bees would be fine, right? So my big picture, how is this going to turn into a business? Well, what I'm going to end up doing is actually um, filling these up and then come up with a kind of a better design and basically for every stick maybe you pay you know, a dollar right so you know, 100 yen. so how many how many sticks of bees you know so you're actually you're contributing to it and the, and the whole payment system would be the person who collect the bees would get 20 percent of that dollar 20 cents per stick and uh the person who sells the door the bees would get 20 cents per stick right um and uh you know 20 cents or whatever would go back towards making another stick um, and then the other 40% would go towards you know putting food food on my family's table um, there's a wasp down there so it's great to see wildlife great to see um, you know a healthy habitat but there's so far and few between so let's take some pictures of this.